Oh, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about what that card was doing. Okay, so yeah, so we had a 1 and 3 to kill him there at the end still, too, after all the mistakes, and then we made another mistake to lose it. RQR Master X with the 15 month resubscription. Welcome back and thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. Yeah, right. The Redlings is the. Alright, we tried to be sweet and this deck wasn't very good. We could play more mono demon, I guess. The deck was doing well. Yeah, I should have. I didn't even think about the, the wine production. Thank you for pointing that out, um, Immortal. Definitely had enough cards that that was lethal. Weird. What a weird correlation between making mistakes and losing games. Crush. Two cost, four, four, send me up. Sure. Opponent's so unlucky, they have to discard. Woken Draka. Oh, this turn's gonna be Dece, right? Yeah, we do this. And then we hit this. And then I sack one of these to this to make it a 4-4. And then I can cremate this, which will trigger the wicked web spawn. Then we get to attack for 10. These, these plus turns. We had a we had a Lasgars in hand here. We just couldn't lose. We don't have Lasgars in hand, so like we could lose, but you know, chip in a chair. Yeah, right. If Vengeance wasn't hand, it's just like super over. Dear opponent, please do not play an Underworld Crusader so you can die. Signed the stream. Yeah, the old no plays. Side me up. Let's draw a Death Seeker here. Get double scrounge. Just draw a brick. I love bricks. They're my favorite building material. All right, this is gonna get strangled. A rock cast will hit him for four. Deal. Four four zero. Oh. Crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, there's one chump blocker potentially. Yep. Probably hoping to get a rock cast or vampire princess back here. Princess would be pretty good. Yeah, you get that 23 drop back to your hand opponent. Yeah. Nice efficiency you got there. Bring in these gemborn prowlers. We made on average actually isn't very good in this matchup. Death Seeker's a little medium minus. Probably don't mind having Haunting Cry. Let's give this a try. I could see Gruesome Deed being okay, but I don't love that card on average, I don't think, so. so I like this. All right, let's get him. Redlings eat clunky kaigu for breakfast. That's what happened, Burgle Burgle. That's what happened. Oh, and now we're playing Redlings? No, we died. We, di we died a horrible, horrible, gruesome death. It was not pretty. Our opponent died a horrible, gruesome death this last game, though. And hopefully... Hopefully they're about to do it again. Hold on, folks. I'm gonna do it again. 
J V L U S O with the 11 month free subscription. Thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, red, see, you see Redlings? Redlings is powerful enough that I can make a bunch of mistakes and I'm still allowed to win games. So we're going to play Redlings. The the worst... Uh, and that's, that's there's something to be said for that, right? Like, these other aggressive decks can be competitive if you're, like, playing really well with them. But, like, Redlings is just, like, so strong that I could just, like, make a mistake after mistake after mistake and still just, like, punch people into the ground. So sign me up, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Princessa. That's... that's pretty good. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna play this Crusader and attack here. I mean, this deck has percentages that you get to minimize and maximize, but it is by and afar so strong, even Mapamon taking top 64 with it. And so... This seems a little bit weird, but I'm going to make these Dreadlings post-combat here because I want the Scrounge Fodder for next turn for these Rust Buckets and stuff. Um, I didn't make them pre-combat and the Vampire Princess would block one and they'd gain a life from having made the Dreadlings pre-combat. Alright, we are getting well. So hopefully my opponent just plays another blocker here. And then we just get to, like, run him out of the park. Please play a blocker. Please play a blocker. I would love to run you over. Don't play a removal spell. Just play a blocker. Even if they have a removal spell here, they're not in a fantastic spot. Are you gonna attack me? Holy crap, that's bold. I like it. I like it, opponent. It's crazy. So crazy it just might work. I don't think it's gonna work. I think this I think this is bad for them. Get your bowl. Get your bowl if you want some crackers. Alright, they didn't have a removal spell. Well then! Yahtzee! Oh jeez, I can scrounge this. I do not want to scrounge this one. I want to scrounge. You have pretzels. I would like to I only have two troops in here, so I can only scrounge once. So I can't I can't use the scrounge too. We're gonna get some four four dreadlings here. You can't block. Dreadlings! Ho! Alright, I hope they have a crocosaur next turn, because even if they do, they're probably still dead. We have five troops in our crypt now, so if we hit a non-slow shard next turn, we can scrounge three times, making 12 dreadlings with these two wicked web spawns. Oh god! I had to, I had to, I had to put him on the Crocosaur, right? And like, put, put my, my, you could have Crocosaur and probably still die to the test. Why, well, well, I'm gonna need to learn to keep my mouth shut. Attack me with the Vampire Princess, please. Come on. Yeah, hasn't learned their lesson. Just like, shipping it in here. Okay, so they're, su they're super dead. Uh, yeah, they're dead even if we don't draw the shard now because they attacked. Oh. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna play this Wicked Web Spawn here. I would like to scrounge the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him. Get him. Got him. Good. Redlings! Rawr! Feels, I feel good. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I knew that I would not. Ah, Ken Kenna, Scrub Lord, Scrub Lord, gotta scrub this Scrub Lord. Uh. Have to scrub this Scrub Lord out of existence. Ooh, ooh, man! If this hand draws a blood source on one, we are gonna 
We're gonna run them out of the park. Hopefully he's playing the Sapphire Wild Dreadlings deck and not the good deck. He was playing the Sapphire Wild deck the other day. Come on. Lead on a crappy threshold. Lead on a crappy threshold. I believe in you, Kent Ketter. Leave on a cra lead on a crappy threshold. Yes! Yes! All right. Blood threshold. Blood shard. 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 Oh, we were so close, Jacob Jeffrey. We were so close. Dad, Dad was so close to just putting it in, Uncle Ketter. I'm gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Get him. Got him. Good. We're gonna teach Mr. Kent to guard Lasgard's vengeance does. Swift strike. That's like cheating. Oh, jeez, did I just do that? Holy crap. Well, I guess we're playing a Rust Bucket Defender. <laughs> oh, I clicked the wrong threshold. Well, I was so busy shit-talking that we clicked the wrong threshold. <laughs> oh, he's playing blue-red. We both have Lasgars. Got it. Got it. All right. Okay, I understand now. Uh-oh is right. Uh-oh. Daddy kicked the ball. Evening, Stu. He could have last guards in his deck too. Could be, could be in real trouble here. Yep. I'm gonna trade with Kent's Warp Steel shards for in here because it takes one of his troop types off of the table for his champion power. That he's gonna get to activate every turn for the rest of the game. More? Okay. Man, so we'd we'd be up two points of life right now and have a rust bucket distractor in hand that we could play out if I'd have made the right threshold of the second turn of the game. It's real. It's real unfortunate. I found a piece of candy. I guess I could have sacrificed that to the lackey in response. Objectively, I should have sacrificed that to the lackey in response. Unfortunately, I had pressed my auto pass key because I am just a, a lazy, stupid idiot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Things that didn't matter for 100. <laughs> Just the second, the second free Lasgars. Uh huh. Cremate probably important. Rust bucket distractor doesn't seem stellar. Repost seems good. Zanya seems medium minus. Save. Okay, so I don't actually think my mistake ended up mattering. We definitely, like, kicked the ball hard, but we're just not beating the double last cards draw out of them. Ah, the last guards vengeance mirror, where the life totals are made up and only the dreadlings matter. Okay. 
The opponent on the other side of the table is Kent Ketter. He is also streaming Hex. He's streaming every day in the month of May of twitch.tv forward slash Kent Ketter. And after I get done here in about an hour, we'll definitely be hosting the remainder of their stream. He is a fellow Hex hero, which is my Hex testing team. Afternoon, Tron. Yeah, what? Kent's got Tribunal Magistrate as their payoff, or we've got, like, Underworld Crusader, basically, is the difference? Kent's okay. It's, like, not super exciting, but it's fine. To play a 4 4 in turn 2, send me up. Well, I guess, if you're gonna make me. I just want to play this resource, resource, resource. I just want to play my resource. So oh, the do da day. Stone Viper with the two month resubscription. I appreciate it, even if it is just a measly two months. I'm going to be around a while, so feel free to stick around too. Thank you for the continued support. You just discovered Hex PvP tools. Stu, are you are you not in my Discord chat? If you're not on the Discord chat, I would highly recommend joining it. That goes for all the subscribers who are here that are not in the Discord chat. We talk about lots of sweet stuff in there, and PvP tools gets linked a lot. One of the many things that is just insane about Hex. I would kill for the type of data in every TCG that PvP tools gives us. Like, Magic intentionally hides their data, and Pokemon uh, is just, like, so sloppy with their data that, like, it's just not easy to uh, acquire. And they're slow and sloppy. Discord lets you pick my brain and be annoyed by me even when I'm not streaming. It's a, good, it's a great service, really. You get some insiders, insiders tilting off when I run especially poorly. Transmog, rude. Next, web guard. Okay, yep. <laughs> yep, 10 out of 10. I think Redlings is the best aggressive deck in the format right now. What's wrong? Do you need something to drink? Need something to wash down that pretzel? Okay, Dad's gonna get you some water real quick, okay? I'll be right back. I'm gonna run and grab Jake something to drink. Pretzels are choking his throat. Alright, so what am I doing here? I think we're just going web spawn into Crimson Slayer into Champ Power. Xenia's fine. She's kind of like a, a fifth and sixth copy of Lasgar's Vengeance. Like, obviously not quite as powerful, but she, she like, snowballs. The, like, you know, the Lasgar's in this deck can often get to, like, you know, even like, minus uh, minus ten on them. And, like, Xenia just hits, like, a Mack truck in any of those cases. <laughs> Hopefully we draw something that lets us scrounge next turn so we can go cremate plus whatever that other something is and get some get some mad mad power going on. Oh 
commander prompt, huh? I feel like I want to wait a turn here. I did not board a Noxious Glory. Uh, yep. Yeah, it seemed I didn't. I didn't really know what Kent's deck was doing. I guess he's got Warp Seals, and Tribunal Magistrate, and Web Guard. So I'm looking to draw a troop this turn. Any troop. That's a heck of a troop to get. All right. So yeah. So we're gonna go. Huh. No, I don't want to concede. How do I want to do this? I guess I can hold the cremate. Yeah. So this will turn into a four three with rage one. Deck like this. Yeah, seems good. Oh! Oh, I punted! Holy crap, I punted! I might have been able to kill him here. Uh, I have I have this Emperor's Lackey sitting here. Uh, so the Emperor's Lackey means I could have put some of these things into my crypt right away. So I could have... Um, yeah, I could have scrounged this cremate this turn, too. Man, I didn't even... I ain't even stop and try to figure that out. Holy crap, if we die next turn, we deserve it. Uh, so how much damage could I have done there? So I could have, like, sacrificed the Storm Drummer and scrouged, cremated them for two, and then I could have sacrificed the two things I got from that and then triple scrounged this. So that would have been two more scrounge triggers on here. So this would have had 14 power, and this would have had plus three as well. So this would have been 21 between these two, and they would have taken a shock to the dome. Yeah, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we could have killed them last turn. I'm, I, they're gonna have to have a lot. They're gonna have to have a dreadling producer here to punish us, but we, I'm pretty sure we could have killed them or at least forced them to trade some things off that they didn't. It's little things like that. Like there's a lot of mechanical things with the Redlings deck doesn't give you a lot of room to outplay your opponents, but there's a lot of really small mechanical things, especially involving Emperor's Lackey, that you can do with this deck to minimize and maximize the amount of points of damage you're doing. It's very, very similar to the uh, Yodel deck from uh, two seasons ago, where like there's a lot of opportunity to min-max. Casual 9-1 spider attack. Can't miss lethal. What does he have in his hand? How could he have missed lethal? What? I guess my Kent can hope I draw some spiders here with these tribunal magistrates now. And he can exhaust my stuff. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, yes, I would love to scrounge this. Thank you. Raven Geist is lethal. Not him. Okay. I was like, oh, this kind of seems like he played fine. Rust Buckets may be better than I'm giving it credit for. They don't have a lot of removal for Zanya, though. Yeah, let's just give this a go. Is this good enough? This probably would have been better if Rust Bucket last game, right? We want Noxious Glory. Talked about that being fine. Let's give it a try. Maybe my gruesome deeds are supposed to come in here.
pretty easy mulligan here. Five resources, two cards. Not particularly excited. If we had if we had a coin in here, we'd probably snap this off, but it seems much better to play a 4-4 four, four on turn one and a 4-4 four, four on turn two. Or turn two, turn three, sorry. Tactician! It's one of the scary sapphire cards you get to play. And exhaust this to make all of their dreadlings plus one plus one until end of turn. Getting ourselves in an okay position to race here. We're gonna get to go Lackey into Crusader into Crusader. That being said, you know, his deck's got some powerful linear draws to it. They're making two dreadlings right now if they have a Magistrate here. Okay, they have Cabalist, which means they're gonna get to make dreadlings every single turn. Yep. Kent is almost certainly a favorite to win here, I think. We need to draw Lasgars like right now. And if he has a Lasgars in his hand plus a Ruby Source, we're definitely not winning. We're in 16 here. And these are all gonna trigger the Pyre Smoke Cabalist. So they're gonna be able to activate their champion power again next turn as well. Alright, um that can get rid of these down the line, potentially. Uh no point in trying to block because they're just gonna make um there should make uh, dreadlings and then exhaust my things. <laughs> Pretty sure we're just dead. They like a prompt or a tribunal magistrate here. We're gonna be pretty dead. Yep. Sure, we already had infinite charges. We're taking 11 here. Jeez, Burgle, way to have a heart. He has a Lasgar. I do not um, have a Lasgar. <laughs> very, very dead. Not nah, quick enough on the draw. Neither of us had any interactive pieces, and it was just. We would have killed on our five, and he was killing on his five, so. Kent, Kent was in fact just, just a teensy bit quicker. We got gold too. I don't know that we're gonna make it to plat today. We got like half hour left in the stream. There's only a couple more matches. Probably maybe make it to gold one if we're lucky. Run a couple of two O's off here. Got what you got, what you got. All the Ivan Mirrors would like to go first. A lot of variety among the Ivan decks, though. Uh, we have three non slow resources, so we're gonna go and hold on to this uh, 
hold on to this here Necropolis coin, so that way we can possibly use it to draw a card and deal two damage to our opponent. Mm. You start going to bed earlier. So web spawn into Underworld Crusader champ power crack for eight next turn. Looking like a Red Lings mirror match. They have a 4-4 here. We won't attack with the web spawn. Yep. We will swing the Crusader in, though, I think, here. Yeah, especially with drawing a second one. Alright, the Last Guard's Vengeance is a touch late here, but we do get to trigger Scrounge next turn to make some some dreadling, so not too bad. We'll be able to play this the following turn then. Sure. Attack me for four. God bless, opponent. They know what's up. Am I playing this cremate? Yeah, I think we're just playing the cremate. I guess it's technically free, so we could wait to play it. But I think I want to do the cremate now, and this this way, if I want a Lasgar's Vengeance pre-combat next turn, I have that available to me as an option. Baby, ooh, baby, baby, ooh, baby, baby. Oh, yeah, just keep swinging, 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 just keep swinging. Do, do, do. Say hello to my little friend, the Lasgar's Vengeance. Vengeance for Lasgar. How do I board the Redlings mirror match? Cremates? Tanya's out? That does less damage the following turn, Burgle, right? It's the same damage that turn, but the following turn, my damage output is lower because then I only have two 2-2s two in play. Yeah, I think I'm just boarding pretty minimally here. I don't know if I want repost. I feel like I want to just, like, put the pedal to the floor. I mean, the reposts are good. Rust Bucket's, like, medium minus. Let's do it. Just do it, fam. Check. Check, check it, see. Wreck, wreck, wreck it, see. So, when you're playing a match like this where Lasgard Vengeance is one of the most important cards in your deck, um, and you have this hand's like kinda close, it's like not doing anything powerful, it's just like playing a two drop, you should always mulligan the close hands that don't have Lasgard Vengeance in them. Sands is a little bit more reasonable. We got one drops at least. But do, did I have enough to play the Speed Crusader next turn while still playing the Lasgar's Vengeance pre-combat? I don't think I did. I could I could be wrong on that. Willing ten out of ten willing to willing to be wrong there, but I'm not I'm not sure that I had that I had that available to me. If I could afford to Lasgar's pre-combat plus Crusader the following turn, then that's definitely better. But if I can't do that, I think I'd rather just have the Crusader in play. Their hand, uh, they mulliganed as well, right? Yep, and their hand is kind of slow, which is nice. We debating cremating my dork. Dorko is dead. Damien Dorko. 
Make a ruby threshold here for this last Gar's Vengerino. We added to the crypt. Added to the crypt. I also love a good last Gar's Vengerino every now and again. Yeah, I'd have to check the tape too. Jacob Jeffrey, stop making a mess, child. Pretty free block. That's uh, it's a pretty good hit. Just scrounge this and make two dreadlings now. Then we get to do this for three. <laughs> Just Obolski cast this last guard's vengeance already. Jake, bring it here. Bring it here, I will help you. I think your hands are wet so that your fingers aren't working. Motor trick driver. Okay, so they're playing one of the older builds that sells motor trick in it. No blocks. Oh, crap. Well, the fact that that's got five toughness is a little terrifying. Um, so we get to go Gravengeist first and to scrounge this wicked web spawn. And then this Lasgars will be free post combat. I think I want to trade this just to kill this. If they have a Lasgars of their own, we're not beating it. I like that the Matriarch, the fact that Matriarch helps the Necrotic count is pretty huge. Um, that's a point of tension sometimes, especially when you're reserving and you want to cut the, wick the Death Seekers. But not for red legs. Yeah, it's definitely fine. I mean, we played it for a long time, right? You have a gruesome deed here? I'm just tanking on if they want to attack with the motor trike. Could be anything. Another shard. Uh, just dead. I can go block, block, no, and then. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna attack with Graven Geist here. How am I supposed to ship with everything? They get to eat this, trade here, and then take five down to two. Yeah, I like that. Then they're dead to cremates and coins off the top. Hey, Awaken. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the support. It also puts them dead to the Graven Geist next turn. Yep. So they can get in for 11 here. Dead to cremate. Alright, and we got it. Uh, I need to run and change a diaper here really quick, so I'll be right back. Apologies for the interruption.
That diaper was far less bad than the smell implied. one more match here before we wrap it up for the afternoon thank you everyone for hanging out here today thank you to the resubs that we had and everyone that's just watching there's a lot of different things you could be doing different people you could be watching thanks for just been part of your thursday here with us remember i'll be back on again tomorrow morning every friday morning we do an early stream and then i'll be off for the weekend but we'll have um draft videos posted on the YouTube channel on Saturday and Sunday, and then a brand new uh, hero battle video posted on the YouTube channel come Monday morning. I might, I might try and talk to the wife. I don't need to check and see what my calendar looks like. I might do a Saturday afternoon stream, actually. Do one of the old... Moto into hex streams to try and convert some of the children, save their digital souls, if you would. Bring them into the light of a superior TCG. Ossuary, you are catching us right at the end, bud. Seems like medium minus. This coin could be anything, even another shard. Yeah, YOLO. YOLO Swagons! That's a bad draw. It's a bad draw. Could have gone better. Into a prince. Don't do that. Don't do that, opponent. Okay, that was a better draw. Sign me up. Get my wacked web spawn on. You know... It's been almost therapeutic playing a little bit of magic online again. It really, it really allows me to appreciate what Hex has to offer playing Magic the Gathering online. It really does. I think I'm just going to slam into my opponent with all of these here because if they have a blood threshold next turn, yeah, they're going to get to take my web spawn and possibly by Crusader too, honestly. So let's just tick this to four so we can clean the board up afterwards. Another bride. Oh God. Oh God. They're gonna make a blood threshold here. Oh, I just, uh, uh, uh. Sorry. I just had a little, a little something in my throat there. Yep. No! Why is there a withering gaze in your main deck? We were gonna survive! We were gonna survive! <laughs> I'm so cold. It's so cold. It's so cold. Our opponent took all of our fun away. Our opponent took all of our fun. Uh... Um, man, that was rude, opponent. That's rude. We were gonna like have a game, and then and then you killed us. Um, scoop it up. Put these things in here. Do that, I guess. First step, <laughs> you should pay more attention. We we done a lot of losing today. There's this weird correlation between making mistakes and losing. It's tough.
right at the right at the very end, Great Lucas. We are this is our probably the last game of the day. It's the last match. If we manage to win this game, we'll play it. We'll play a third, but we are not. I'm getting 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 trugal. We are getting wrecked back and forth here. It's fine. I didn't want that last guard's vengeance, anyways. Opponent, get out of here. Yeah. Get another ruby here. You know, for every time they like have their have their withering gaze for our last guard's vengeance, there's gonna be another, you know, game or game and a half or two games even where they just like they just cast their withering gaze and brick, because we don't have that many actions in our deck. Like we literally have seven actions in our deck post reserves. Nice! That's rude. It's unfortunate. Um... I don't think so. That's a lot of work. I'm just... That's honestly not going to be, it's not something I'm going to remember to update consistently, so like, no, is this just this is the short answer? Could we? Sure. Am I going to? No, I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm not. The Hex API doesn't currently output when, when matches end, just when game ends. If the Hex API made it accessible to do that, I could have an API tool generate that information fairly easily, but since I can't, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to concede to a Silver Talon Adjudicator here. Good beats opponent. I will draw one card. Ooh, it's a shard. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it for the afternoon here. Declan is should be awake from his nap here shortly. Thank you. Thank you everyone for hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and forward you over Kent Ketter's way. And I'll be around uh be back around tomorrow.